Salutations! Welcome to another episode of Fox Plays KSP, the 365-day challenge, round two. So today, we're not actually launching anything, we're recovering something. And, uh, in a controlled fashion, so... Yeah, that's what we're doing. So first, we need to head on over to ODARP. So, I'll see you up there. Alrighty, here we are in orbit with ODARP. And it is starting to look quite impressive, I think. It's got that kind of critical mass. Well, anyway, um, we want to do, I think, a little shuffling around. Um, I think we need uh, a, an EVA uh, to do a little bit of construction. And so first we're going to do, we're going to have uh, Morris Kerman. And this is, uh, she flew as the backup engineer to Bill, and so she is going to perform her EVA. Okay, you're letting her, her uh, compatriots know she's out of the airlock. So first things first, uh... What's our EVA going to be doing? Well, we're going to construct uh, some, some little lights, just because everything's kind of dark back here, um, and that doesn't really need to stay that way, so... Oh, I bet she forgot her... <laughs> she forgot her wrench, or her screwdriver, really. bet that's still in the airlock. Oh, walked her head. Let's see if it is, in fact, there. Well, she can she can stick around, and I guess we'll we'll have Bill fetch it for her. Uh, it's there's one in the capsule. Uh, Bill's inventory. He's got his, but and inventory. There we go. He's actually going to move a whole bunch of this stuff over anyway. And you can leave that cubic octagonal strut. So close that, close that. Bill's inventory... it doesn't! Well, that's frustrating. Inventory... Okay, it, it dumps it into the... into the... that inventory. Interesting. Now, he'll leave... the... spare propellant and... He'll leave the spare propellant. Bill can provide his uh, his headlamp as kind of a way for us to keep track of what we're doing. So we'll just grab a, uh, a wrench from Bill, and we'll get his light on the situation. I set the station as a target. Set as target. Perfect.
that's we're gonna call that good enough. Okay, so now we need to actually grab our equipment. Maybe we need to grab a ladder first. Alright. Alright, there we go. Now she's got something to uh, grab on to. to move Bill, because he's kind of lost the thread. This is going to be uh, more necessary as we start moving into the dark side. He's kind of in a precarious position here, but should be all right. All right let's try that. Much better. It's a little haphazard, but it'll do. Grab the other I think is a much more useful ladder. Every time, every time I make a video, I convince myself that I'm not actually recording. Well, I'm going to switch over to Bill because he has once again kind of drifted a bit too far. Make sure we get light on the situation. How's that? Is that going to wash out? Not overly. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Alright, so that has been uh, Morris Kerman with her buddy Jeb, uh, not Jeb, Bill. And so she's been out longer, so she's going to re-enter first. And this, I think, be 
Well, I guess it might not be the last time we use this, uh, kind of secondary airlock. Alright, and... Bill there, coming over all crushing. Having a technical difficulty. Uh, my L key on my keyboard has been broken for a long time, but it, now I think it's really broken. Mm, I might have to look into this. Okay, well, they should be both back on board. So, Bill is actually going to transfer over to the Alnair, as is uh, Valentina. As their stay here is concluded. So let me just double check that here. So Morris and Donler Carmen are going to remain on board, even though I don't think either of them. Uh, no, Donler came up in the Soyuz, or the Tantares, anyway. Well, the um, it's time for the Alnair to return to Kerbin. And first we're going to do a little topping up. Gonna pipe in as much uh, life support stuff as we can. Getting the, uh, the all clear here. So we will pass back into the day side so we can uh, make sure we're doing it right. Alright. So we'll double check our. Alright, got no stowaways anywhere. Yep, Jeb, Bill, and Valentina. So we have our uh, our expeditions uh, crew is going to be Donler Kerman and Morris Kerman. And they've got the Tantaries here if they need to uh, escape back to Kerbin for some reason. Alright, so we're going to undock, I think. station. We want our periapsis to be, I think, 45, maybe 50 uh, kilometers. We'll go with uh, 48, I think, is a 
good middle ground. We'll go 47. 40. We'll go 40. That's probably fine. Alright, so we're not going to decouple our uh, service module just yet. Uh, we will close it, however. Now, time accelerate. Just a little crescent. So, yeah, we're still far out there. All right. All right we should be entering the atmosphere. Yeah, very tippy top of it. Now we're going to point to uh, retrograde. And burn off a lot of the remaining fuel. And it's all just monoprop, so... So, we're pointed radial, which works. Alright. Capsule starting to heat up. And as I recall, we have successfully recovered this capsule before. So we should be fine, but I guess we'll point the um, Try and get the window pointed at the uh, our uh, command module or service module debris. That burns up. Bill wishing everyone good luck, I think. So we are, I think, still aiming for the desert. I'm a little worried about um, landing in the mountains, however. And actually... You know, it occurs... Well, I don't know. I was thinking that I could redesign the capsule slightly and add a, a, a main parachute uh, underneath the docking port, but I don't know, it always seems a little weird, because if, if you want to move through that uh, that connection, you'd have to I don't know, move the 
move the parachute out of the way somehow. That doesn't really make any sense. I really need to uh, to reduce the amount of ablator on these uh, on these capsules because they really don't, especially in their their current configuration, they really don't need that uh, that much ablator. bit of time acceleration. So yeah, I think we are going to land in the foothills behind the mountains, looks like, maybe. I think we've cleared a lot of the rough stuff. Well, maybe not all of it. Alright, so we did manage to avoid the rough stuff. I think our, our landing zone is going to be like here-ish. That is a little worrying, that crest there, that could be problematic. I think we're going to fall short of it though. Deployed. Alright, now in there too, under canopy. Look at that. The long fall back to Earth. Or not Earth, Carbon. Carbon, Carbon. Not Earth. What kind of silly planet name is that? That's another thing. I really should add uh, some batteries to this pod. weird pattern of the um, the parachutes are going through. They can live without the heater for, you know, a few seconds here, guys. Alright, so this is 13 meter per second crash, but, you know, retro rockets, man, they're, they're heavy. Anyway, uh, that has been our episode for today, uh, and, uh, well, anyway, uh, it's, it's simple, fun, little, little bit of EVA work, uh, that's been our episode, so I have been Fox, this has been KSP, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed, hope very much to see you next time, anyway, take care.